Hello. <coughs> ah. Ooh. Some. I probably should hydrate a little bit after this. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena. And today we are supposed to do M MWM. We're gonna be doing it in a short moment. Just gonna. Um. Just a PSA for you guys. This is the deck I wanted to run. Um. After a few changes. After. Um. With, with what I did, basically. Um. I. I, I took a I took a stock um is it turns deck list and just added the actually after then noticing it's alchemy then noticing there's a few cards I've been sleeping on I I decided to um yeah like don't sleep on guys channel and expected conversion discovered the formula you probably want to add those when you're doing this for yourself however the unfortunate part is there is a current there is currently a bug in um midweek magic right now so this is the slow start event and um it has and it seems like um no matter what you do your deck is once you submit the deck it's locked in so let's take a look here we have uh the, um this is the deck we have let's make a ch let's make a visible change let's cut the celestus let's add a uh, hullbreaker horror let's press done now let's take a look again Celestis is back. Only one Hullbreaker Horror. So once you submit the deck, it's pretty much locked in. You're stuck here. That said, it's a good thing I didn't try to do anything um, too out of the way. I wanted to make this video pretty much as a as a as a farewell to as a farewell to Aldrin's Epiphany and a farewell to Divide by Zero. In by the time Midweek Magic's over, these guys are getting the boot in standard. Faceless Haven also getting the boot, but um, that's an that's another story as well. That said, this. That's it. I did. It is possible to get a few wins here. Um, it's this one is not out of the way, and um, the actual inclusion of a braid, um, pretty much originally there just to cut out Celestus, but um, also answers the can also do havoc on on on, on random uh, aggro decks, which is quite prevalent there. You would think that aggro decks would be hurting because of the slow start emblem, so. We'll talk. We'll talk about that shortly. We're definitely keeping this. So, slow down emblem. As long as a player controls no lands, the land will enter tap. So I play island, it enters tap. So, knowing that, no reason not to. And as you can see, um, it's letting me choose between one of two replacement effects to place first. No reason to not play spike field cave. In fact, um, this event super super ben super super benefits um control. Now that said, it looks like um people have been running some sort of mill ver mill variant, so we are going to keep up the Juari disruption. Yeah, this looks like a mill variant, which does work for which does work for the most part, I will say. So ruin crab, say no. We will expressive iteration next turn. Okay, so this is turbo mill. So unfortunately, we're going to have to say goodbye to one card. We're definitely keeping the divide by zero. We, the galvanic is okay, but we don't need to have too many of those. We'll take. I actually probably should be binning the hullbreaker horde. That's the one card that really doesn't do much. Our opponent is very likely to cast cacophony or hideous laughter at this point, but. So I'm gonna just play storm giants. I'm not gonna hold up the fading hope. Watch our opponent play a crap, then we will be regretting our life choices. They played the land first, so no crab. They're going straight for the hideous laughter. And they did they do take a sizable chunk of our deck, so a bit annoyed there. So not going to foretell this yet because we might need to hold up divide by zero. We just need to keep buying time for the most part. So. As much as I... I could take Teachings of the Archaics. Um, that will draw us into more cards. Well, nothing here really good for us. I might even just take the Environmental Science in case I need the land. But we'll take the Teaching first. Opponent seems to be stuck on mana, so... We can foretell now. 
we will set this to red for some reason and we'll draw the two cards yeah unfortunately we're gonna have to let our opponent recast this one. Oh, opponent's going expressive iteration first looks like they are they're digging because they know they're kind of behind we don't have an iteration quite yet They might okay, no crab yet either. They might have a cacophony here. So we need to hold up this disruption. Okay, we did hit the iteration, but we are a long ways away from hitting the mana we need. Like, we might not be able to do iteration, we might just have to Aldrin's Epiphany immediately. Yeah, it's unfor unfortunately, it looks like we got victimized by Turbo Mill. Sometimes it happens. Can't we? We did have one match against a tur Turbo Mill deck, and we actually, su we actually survived, although we got down to the last card. Although, down to 11 cards, not so great, unless we can somehow... T also, the unexpected windfall kind of works against us here. So we might as well do the unexpected windfall, discard Cinder class on which we probably will never cast. We're basically on the lookout for... Uh, we, we needed to find the divide by zero. Even then, our opponent can just go Maddening Cacophony and it's over, so... Our lack of hard counters is also an issue here. I kind of I kind of wondered why there was no Test of Talents. It's pretty much a shoe-in on that build. Yeah, opponent just goes Maddening Cacophony, even if I buy it back. That's a good... That's a good game. Quite, quite unfortunate, but um, sometimes that... But s sometimes that's the, the risk. I would definitely have changed the list. Unfortunately, the game is not letting me, so... If you happen to get yourself a very unfortunate list um, and you want to make changes, you're kind of out of luck. They they really dropped the ball. They've been dropping the ball on midweek magics recently. Like um, several have been misprogrammed. And and all that. De definitely a lot of ch a lot of changes need to be done. And yeah, speaking of changes that need to. Ooh, this is super risky. I probably would not keep. Like, um. Okay, I have Fading Hope, but, um, let's say we have to go up against. I won't be able to iterate until I use Divide by Zero to Tutor. Uh, super risky. That's Mulligan. Okay, this is more keepable. We can bin the one Leer. Basically, just showcasing the power div um, divide by divide by zero. Okay, so opponent is playing a life gain deck. It could be, be just playing clerics, which oh, yep, Cl playing clerics. It could be the white blue cleric version of the deck. So we will need to use divide by zero um zero because we're gonna be hit need to hit Lear soon. Oh yeah, it's not only standard that's changing. Alchemy is getting a lot of changes here as well. So yeah, we're looking at Esper Clerics. Let's say no. So since we hit another land, we're just going to hold the other divide by zero. Um, takes say teaching of the archaics then we probably just play Lier. I'm trying to think what our opponent could have in their deck here Inquisitor Captain yeah let's 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 delay that pretty much keep delaying for as long as possible they might still have a brutal Qatar which would be annoying but we're definitely playing Lier now we're willing to give up the iteration I suppose
Because the nice thing at least about Lear is that um, it opponent specifically needs Brutal Qatar or whatever they're using the black mana for. I don't... I'm actually not sure. They could have a Vanishing Verse. That that would al also ma quite make sense. We're ba so this is basically bait. It should buy us the time... Opponent just goes Inquisitor Captain. They're, they're digging. They could chain off if they happen to hit enough glass pool mimics. Nope. Voice of the blessed. Okay, just stand. So we do hit another natural divide by zero. So we're actually going to just go at environmental sciences. Keep moving up on our lands. So we're basically just um, trying to see what our... What our opponent's follow-up is. We know they have an Elite Spellbinder in hand, so we can, we'll can we probably kiss the Teaching or the Galvanic Iteration goodbye. But we need to hit 10 mana. Well, actually 9 mana if nothing happens to Galvanic. Opponent goes Inquisitor. Uh, flash this back. We're not exactly countering anything anymore. We're just being annoying. Uh, I'm tempted to take the start from scratch just to start sniping the Luminarch Ascension. And uh, the. I'll take the start from scratch. I'm gonna place a land. Yeah, their Alder Glasspool mimics are in hand, so not so great. So, environmental sciences. No. Um, hit an hit an island. Spike field hazard. Snipe the veteran so we can keep the voice of the blessed down. And then I'm tempted to do teaching, but we know we have to do we have to do divide by zero. If anything, this game is gonna kind of demonstrate why divide by zero is the most annoying card in the world. When it goes elite spellbinder, prop. I I can make them spend all their mana just to do it again. So we'll do. So yeah, we'll do just that. We'll use the actual one here first to prevent, because um any of these other three I don't mind um having something happen to them. We'll take another environmental sciences. So if they want to go for it again, at least we can guarantee our divide by zero cost three. Okay, they're going for Inquisitor Captain instead. They, they're trying to hit something that can take out Lear. N knowing the Cleric build, I don't think they have Brutal Qatar. Watch me be wrong. Nope, inter Blast Pool Mimic, so they're gonna keep the chain. Elite Spellbinder, so... Okay, that was expected. We get to snipe this, though, with the Spike Field Hazard. Okay. Oh, yeah, we should let this resolve. Yeah, start from scratch was a mistake. We could have just gone for that. We could go for teaching... ...pretty much soon. But the key now is that we want to be able to cap. Okay, opponent takes the galvanic iteration, so that makes sense. Um, pass the combat. Let's see if they want to swing. Probably not. We'll snipe the spellbinder. So we hit the hellbreaker horror, which unfortunately they will be so suspicious if we don't. So we're gonna have to cast. We're gonna cast that later. We're gonna keep um, building to our game plan, so play land. One, two, three, four, five, six, so we can teaching. Cinder class, I'm unfortunately a little bit lightweight here, but we can hold.
opponent going for Elite Spellbinder, they probably will take the Hullbreaker Horror. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Kinda need a lot more mana than this. Yeah, we need we, we need to keep delaying. Yeah, and we're at the point where we're about to draw Inquisitor Captain, okay, going for the chain again. Oh wait, no, they're out of cards, so yeah, there's there, you need to have a certain amount number of cards. Now that um a bunch of them have been exiled, a bunch of them are in play. Inquisitor Captain doesn't chain forever unless you build enough of it. There's there is that limitation. It you need to have twenty or more creature cards in graveyard hand and library. So I'm we can s safely see our opponents down to nineteen. Hold on, let's play the land first. Too many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna stop right here. We're going to go. Hull, we're probably gonna go Hullbreaker Cinder Classm at this point. Pyre of Heroes. They're going to go for this chain. <clears throat> but that means they have to have a f they have to have a five CMC. So we'll see what comes down. They need to have a five CMC. Uh, they have to have a five mana value Inquisitor Captain. Sacking the Glass Pool Mimic doesn't do it. Yep, they they goofed up. They um, their and opponent concedes before we can even get through the rest of our chain. But we're still quite happy with that. Oddly enough, by just by not killing our cre opponent's creatures, we sty stymied their inquis Inquisitor Captains. So we actually got a very weird game there. But um, it, it's good enough. I'll take it. Nice. Actually, decent card style for Cultivator Colossus. We'll, um, we'll probably go through one... We'll probably go through a, one or two more games here, then probably call it a day. I'm not showing the deck list here because um, it's just a stock. It's a stock deck list I got off. I should at actually attribute it. I. Yeah, I got it off. Um, M I got it off MTGA Untapped. I will link it in the description. So, unfor nope. Two mana is super sketchy. I don't feel comfortable keeping this. If our opponent's in control, we have we have three cards that are doing nothing. That's an auto mulligan. This one, at least we have expressive iteration. We're willing to keep this. Will bin probably the galvanic iteration. So at least we drew our land. Opponents playing, yeah, we should expect a lot of people playing. Okay, this is probably one of the worst matchups for us. Straight um, blue, um, straight blue white to fairy key to the archetype control. I could just cast the expressive iteration, see if our opponent counters this. I actually don't mind if they do. Divide by zero, that's fine. Um, get them to start using them up, and because it's um blue white. They do have Lear in the deck list. Okay, they go for teaching. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna go six. They will. Ha yeah, the spike field hazard's not quite doing much here. They're going to be able to draw two new cards, but um, that might give us a window of opportunity. Maybe. I'm tempted to just cast Celestus just to keep their mana going and just cast the expressive iteration later. No, I could cast the expressive iteration now. But we're probably gonna just pass. The problem is if our opponent manages to cast key to the archive, um so pretty big pretty big for them, we 
don't have enough braid. We can't divide by zero would be too late at this point. Okay, this is actually as probably as per control. Okay, we will draw. We will keep the horror, but that means we probably want to we will still bin a land. I'm playing the expressive iteration first. So one in hand library. This one we probably will never need, so I'm gonna hold up the divide by zero actually, so no So we can't bin Alderon's Epiphany quite yet. If our opponent decides to go for divide by zero, we are going to actually Temp it's weird. Do I bounce their bounce? We'll let it go. Opponent going for environmental sciences, which is quite fine actually. So digging for another land. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the, the cards that are usual for the aggro matchups tend to be quite dead in this particular, in particularly in slow start. I did happen to run into a, against a mono green matchup once. It was it was close, but um, it was also quite scary, um, ha hairy at that. So we'll cast Celestis again. Not in a real hurt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we have unexpected windfall to hold up. We probably now foretell the epiphany. So we now have multiple options. Pwn is gonna just discover the formula. Hmm. Probably gonna divide that by zero. We will go for our own teaching of the archaics, though to be honest, I probably should be going for environmental sciences. Opponent now goes for discover, but how many let? But they really tap out just for this, so interesting setup. We could just Aldrin's Epiphany right away. Ideally, you want the Galvanic, but I'm um, really waiting on that. Also, Dooms. Okay, so. Okay, we did hit another land, which is good. We hit another Alrin's Epiphany, so probably want to. Probably want to hold for unexpected windfall into something. We're waiting. We're just basically waiting for our opponent to go key to the archive or. Or something else. They're ju they've just been doing nothing but cast. Okay, we'll we'll bait them. Let's see. Unexpected windfall. Probably discard the discard an abrade. Let's see if they have a counter for this, or if they decide to do something. They might have a test of talents, which would be annoying for unexpe uh, because unexpected windfall does generate a lot of treasures for us, but. Hmm. The fact that they're still thinking means they probably don't have that particular counter spell. They do have a response of some sort. Discovered the formula, so they're looking for something. They might have hit. The, they might have hit. Um, yeah, divide by zero, and they have two mana left over, but no blue mana. So that's an interesting note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we unfortunately if we even if we hit the galvanic we would be missing the land. Opponent has pitched more cards though. If we hit Lear it would be interesting. Okay. We will take action. We'll draw all the storm giants. It's a land. 
Well, it's better than a braid, so we'll take it. Uh, spike field hazard. Oddly enough, it does it does make um hullbreaker it it makes hullbreaker good because um, we don't need to have to wait for a target for fading hope. I could also just unexpected windfall right now, but we're gonna hold. Yeah, we'll draw another windfall. We'll pitch the fading hope this time. Maybe the one of Celestis is not so bad. In this particular matchup, yes. We're just actually waiting for our opponent to do something. There's Teferi, who is super cheap. Now, we also have to do a check on how many DV divide by zeros they've used. They've used three so far. I'm I actually can't play it now because they might have a fateful absence. The air disciple of the drowned. So okay, we'll let that resolve. And we have to let that resolve. Okay, we will now do unexpected windfall. Probably pitch unexpected windfall. Let's see if we can bait them into casting account. Nope, we did not. So we have to pass, but we did draw a, quite a good number of lands here. Okay. Where is that Galvanic? Okay, we did hit our own d divide by zero, so that's quite good here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 mana. The problem is they might actually just be holding up the... Hmm. So can't still can't go for it yet. Also, let's double check Divine Purge. It's um, Exile with mana 3 or less. Okay, so... I'll probably just foretell this one again. Let's hope that doesn't mess up our mana. Opponent goes discover the formula. So I can cast Hellbreaker Horror, force them to go Doom Scar. Okay, we bounce the discover, pay off. Super expensive, but I'm paying this off. Then we use this to turn target land. land. Yeah, we're going to t bounce the leer, force them to cast that because that's more expensive. Uh, we will probably take environmental sciences this time. So Hellbreaker Horror did combo with something, did blank some out. Okay, we lose the Hellbreaker Horror. That's kind of expected. Opponent drops Lier, but they're now down to 4 mana. A bunch of it's by divide by zeros, but a bunch of them also... Actually, that's a good question. Yeah, a bunch of them are really cheap divide by zero, so we need to see how, how those go. Yeah, the... So it's quite unfortunate that um, we have the Aldrin's ready, but um, unless until we can deal with Lear, we've got nothing. We are kind of waiting for, say, our own, uh, our own Lear. We do have two of them. But note that only two divide by zeros and a fading hope to protect it, though. When it goes unexpected conversion, 
again, these are all very solid spells that I... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, ma six mana up. We're gonna flip the we're gonna flip tonight first because we can flip it back to day late again. Okay, we do hit the galvanic, which is actually quite good. But we have to do a math check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so not quite enough. We need to force them to start using counters, but I don't think I'm gonna be baiting them with these cards. Okay, we also play this spell, right? Also, wait, when is this? It, it's at seven, so we can't. We need to buy one turn. Now note that because of the alchemy change to Alrin's Epiphany, Galvanic Iteration. Ooh, Hellbreaker. They hit their own Hullbreaker Horror, which is makes it even. It's gonna make it very hard for us to actually cast anything. At least we got another free draw, but it looks like it might be over. Yeah, whoever can get this two, these two to stick, usually wins. And our opponent just ca doesn't have to cast anything at this point on, so. But let's see, first we tap, we, f I'm actually curious, yeah, we're, we're no way near nearing winning this one. That's a good thing we're already done with this. Yeah, Teferi, Slow Stone Sunset, perfect alchemy card. It, it really fits the, it really fits this archetype very well. And if anything, it does, it illustrates the insane power of and the insane power of divide by zero. Especially if you get like H getting H four shots of it is quite good. Getting eight shots is even better. Yeah, I really wish I had the test of talents. Again, bug on the deck list. Maybe our opponent could oblige us and... Okay, so another Galvanic iteration. But then take note that no matter how many copies we generate... 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so... 3, 4... Like, I'm gonna just do this for demonstration purposes. So we basically get 2 shots and a total of 3 spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our opponent has enough divide by zeros that are costed really cheap. And because divide by zero is not an actual counter, they they can just spend all of it. So divide by zero. Well, we can ignore Hullbreaker Horror. F Actually, no. Even Hullbreaker Horror doubles this because it just returns a spell, so we can concede this one at this point. It's um, it's just to show that um, yes, this is what um stand. If you thought it was bad right now in al alchemy, imagine how bad people have been suffering in standard over this. It's kind, it's kind of one of the few decks that um, had too much power. I think I was more annoyed with Divide by Zero than Alrin's Epiphany, but eventually even the even the Epiphany was bad enough because. Because as printed in standard, if we had the alchemy v version printed in standard, might have been to it probably would have been more tolerable. It would have just been a se seven mana extra turn that you had to pay two more mana in advance just to get birds. So, okay, keeping this one, at least we have a Celestus. Okay, this opponent's build is slightly different here. We're gonna have to bin. We're gonna have to foretell Epiphany immediately, unless our opponent's running Juress. No, Valentins. Okay, D very different. Forsworn Paladin. 
So knowing this one, I am in no rush to... No rush quite yet. <laughs> Point is probably just going to pay to make a treasure token. So divide by zero we can hold up, but we're gonna just play Celestus. We need to get as much mana down as possible. Pona's probably gonna be doing the same thing. So next turn we will have five mana that gives us Galvanic Divide. Even Gal or Divide Okay, Pony goes Sedge more Witch. We're gonna take the five now. We will, yeah, I guess we will keep the divide by zero up top. And we probably will bin, we're gonna draw anyway, but the question is what do we bin in the process? Yeah, unexpected windfall. We, we don't need two. Two copies might be a bit overkill considering our next sequence. Opponent seems to be stuck though. So we're going to iterate. Divide by zero. So, target the Forsworn Paladin. Then target Valentin. Yeah, they're just gonna make the treasure token. Technically, I could bounce the treasure token, but um, we're gonna just bounce some. Um... Yeah, then we're just gonna go environmental sciences. And to probably teaching of the archaics. And we will do get a card draw. I might end up discarding, say, one T. I might end up discarding the teachings or just depending on what we did. Oh no, we did. No, I forgot. It's not. It wasn't our turn. So. Environmental sciences. Get a land. So now it's now it's the now it's about reaching ten mana. Mm, kind of one. I'm gonna cast Archaics. That gives us a flip. We will take get gain life. We will bin the mountain. Opponent's been stuck for in mana for quite a while. They are gonna cast Sedgemoor Witch. So, play land. Let's deal with that once and for all. So we need to hold, we have another divide by zero, so, so we're gonna just um, foretell another Aldrin's Epiphany. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. We need to hit the unexpected windfall. We will divide this by zero. Hit another environmental sciences because we really need the mana badly. Okay, in fact we'll cast this now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're probably gonna just go wind. We're probably just gonna go windfall into windfall discard windfall. Three, six, seven, okay. Yeah, we'll let that resolve. I'm very unfortunate for our opponent to get stuck in mana for quite a while, but they did keep that hand. Okay, we'll just unexpected windfall now. Discard the windfall because we need ten. Now, technically, we can actually counter that. Q 
Okay, so six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have plenty of mana now. So we get two turns, but only but only two birds. But the two turns is big a big enough deal. So double spike field hazard. So we might as well just start casting these one by one. Actually, we probably will do windfall first. Hit another galvanic. We'll save that for later. I think opponent can see the writing on the wall at this point. In fact, okay, there's an expressive iteration which is quite good. Now, so we will do in again another two. I think opponent can see the writing on the should see the writing on the wall at this point. Now we haven't played the land yet, so we might as well expressive iteration now. So put Lier in hand. Bin the hazard. Take the land. Take action. Um, we'll discard one Lier. Because I don't think our opponent's gonna ever take a turn again. Yeah, writing's on the wall now. <laughs> Actually, even if our no, our opponent's definitely still around, or they, or or probably not. All of Storm Giants, play the air. Divide by zero the Skullport Merchant. Let's grab our own teaching. And start to navigate here, but we will teaching up the Archaics, draw some more cards. Uh, ah, so many things. Yeah, we played the land already, so we'll swing. Yeah, too many turns. Yeah, and we're, and we're gonna call it now. So yeah, I'm I'm based. So yeah, playing turns is just um one way to say farewell to Alrin's Epiphany. We're still going to see Alrin's Epiphany in Alchemy. It's probably, but we're. But I think um divide by zero is going to be altered for alchemy, so that might so that so we're not gonna it, the turns are not gonna be this absurd. That said, it it but that said, it's still solid. It's still it it's still something to look forward to uh, or not look forward to. But yeah, if anything, it highlights two things: one, slow start, not not a very good idea when control is the very is the meta of choice and. And please fix your implementation of midweek magic. Uh, we've we've had several that have had um these some um, minor mistakes and and all that. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode of um, Magic Arena Run. If you like what you saw or would like to not never see Alrin's Epiphany again, please um like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications, whatnot. Let us know in the comments um what are the things that you're more look looking forward to know that standard's gonna change in 24 hours that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you guys again next time take care god bless stay safe wherever you are have a great week everyone take care